Glory to God. Shalom, my dear brothers and sisters. I have yet another amazing word of direction for someone who's watching and listening to me right about now. Remember, you are not watching me by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right about now. My dear brothers and sisters, these words that I speak are spirit and they are life. The same words that Jesus said that the words that he speaks are spirit and they are life. Remember, Jesus resides in you. Jesus lives in you. So my brothers and sisters, it is important to meditate on his word day and night. The words that I'm going to give you are words of direction. You need this word for today, not for tomorrow, not for the other time. You need it for today. The word to help you in what you are dealing with. My brothers and sisters, the word of today is they are coming because of what they heard about you. The battles you are facing right now, it is because of the information that your enemies possess. It is impossible for your enemies to fight against you without information about you. At least they have a clue. They, notice that the enemy does not know everything about you. You are still a mystery to the world. You are a mystery. But they know something about you that when they attack you in this area, it will make you go down on your knees. It will make you complain. They know exactly where to attack. They know what temptations to project to you. So they are coming because of what they know. There is confidence they have that if they can use this against you, then perhaps they may pull you down. So it is very important to be prepared. It is very important to be well equipped. Equipped in what? Equipped in the word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the enemy also knows the word. He knows the word. People may think that the, enemy, the devil does not know the word. He knows. He knows the scripture. I'll give an example. When Jesus was being tempted in the wilderness, the enemy came in the came speaking the word. The enemy quoted the scriptures. He quoted the scriptures. If you are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. Jesus also replied, man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Meaning that man shall not live on just mere bread, but the word, but the but the, but the word of God is the bread, the true bread that we're supposed to live on. That is the true bread. That is why in the Lord's Prayer, uh, when Jesus was teaching his disciples, he said, give us this day our daily bread. What bread is he talking about? He's not talking about the bread that you buy at Walmart. No. He's not talking about the bread that you buy at 7-Eleven. No, my brother. No, my sister. He's talking about the word of God. That when you eat of it, it will taste as sweet as honey. It will help you sustain. Even while less you're fasting, the word will sustain you. Even while less you're faced with problems, the word will satisfy you. So it is very important that you know the word for your soul. Because the enemy can masquerade, can uh, pretend to be like an angel of the light. Then he comes and speaks to you scripture. How do you detect that this thing, this spirit that I'm hearing from is not of God? Is if you have the word in you. If you have the word in you, you will not stumble. Because you will know that is not God's will upon your life. Yes, not everyone who quotes scripture actually uh, is from God. There are some people who quote scripture and they uh, twist it. So be very careful. Be men and women who read the word of the Lord. Today's scripture is from the book of 2 Samuel 5 to 17. 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 17. And it reads, Now when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David, and David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Have you heard that scripture? 
that when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, Scripture says all the Philistines went to search up, went to search for him. All, not some, they left none behind because they knew the, the kind of person they are dealing with. All of them, the scripture says, all the Philistines went to search for him. All, not some, all. So some of you, you are facing a, a, an army of people that have surrounded again. Some of it may even be at your workplace. I'm speaking to someone right now. It could be in your neighborhood. It could be your family. It could be people that you have no idea about. Someone meets you on the way. He starts fighting you. They hate you without a cause. They accuse you. They start doing all sorts of diabolic things against your life. It's not that you did them something bad. No, they want to eliminate you because of what they heard about you. They know where you are going. They know that God has blessed you. They know that God has anointed you. Notice. What, what were the Philistines waiting for when, when David was not anointed king over Israel? They were, they, they were, they looked, maybe they, they knew that David was there, but they, they had not got a confirmation that he was the king of Israel. But when they heard, and how who told them that David was anointed king over Israel? That means they were spies. Because how does the enemy know that you are this powerful if he doesn't have people spying you? The moment the spies get information that you are this, that you are a child of God, that you are the salt and light of the world, the enemy will start attacking you. So my brothers and sisters, the greater the attacks, the greater the battle, it tells you, it will give you a kind of a, a picture of who you are in Christ Jesus, of how big you are. Some of you are, getting, are going through spiritual warfare, from warfare to warfare. It tells of how strong you are. You see, despite the fact that David, uh, this is another scripture, despite the fact that David was uh, looked like a little boy, he faced Goliath. That means David was powerful. He was very powerful. And Goliath despised him, not knowing that the, the man he's facing, is a man that has, has killed a lion and a bear. David had a testimony. He had killed a lion and a bear and he, he had overcome it. Before you face Goliath, have that testimony that you have slayed something and you have overcome it. My brothers and sisters, until next time, God bless you.